Hello kids, good morning. This week we've been learning about physical properties of matter. And today we're gonna to be learning about magnetism. Do y'all remember last year when we discussed magnets, how it's a tool that attracts objects that contain iron, steel, cobalt? Well, today we're gonna to be doing an experiment on the physical properties of magnetism. You're gonna be getting to see how magnets attract or repel different or like objects, okay? We're also gonna be discussing the states of matter, conductivity, relative density, solubility, and mass later on throughout the week. Okay, with this, Ms. Gonza Ms. Gonzalez and Ms. Rodriguez are gonna help you out with the experiment. Today we are going to learn how many objects could be attracted or repelled by a magnet. So you will see if they can or not. Depends on the material. You will see later. Hoy vamos a aprender qué tipo de materiales son atraídos o se repelen por imanes. Okay, guys. So we are going to do first is to take two magnets, and we are going to see what happens with the different objects. Apart from that, we are going to try what happens magnet to magnet. You will see they can be attracted. You will see here in the picture, you will see that the magnet to magnet cannot be separated because they have the same, okay? So now, we are going to ha see what happens with the rest of material. Okay, now guys, we are going to try with a plastic and you will see what happened. Oh, what happened? It's not magnetic, why? Because the magnet, it's repelling it. It hasn't got the same magnetic in inside, okay? Now, if you see that it's not working, it's because the object is not magnetic. Remember that. Okay, now let's go to try with the metal. What's happened with the metal, guys? You will see now. Boom! Oh, it's a trap. Why? Because it has magnetism inside. And now let's go to try what happened with this fantastic coin. Do you think it's going to be a track or not? Okay, answer the question in the chat. And now let's see. Uh-oh! is not working why because the coin hasn't got magnetic remember only the object that has magnet has the same way okay now let's go to try with this clip what's happened oh it has magnetic inside because it's metal again so you can be attracted by it okay and now we are going to use it with the last material you will see what happened we have here another magnet and I have my magnet that I'll be using during all the experiments, so let's go to try what happened. Oops, oops, oops. Oh, here it is. It's going to be attracted by the magnet because the poles are the same. So if they are have the same pole, they are attracted. So this one is also a magnet that you can use to try when you were working with it. So see you guys in the next thing with the sponge wave. Hola chicos y chicas, vamos a ver qué materiales son magnéticos y qué materiales no son magnéticos. Pero antes de empezar, vamos a probar con estos dos imanes que tengo aquí. A ver, a ver, a ver... ¡Uh! ¡Anda! Se atraen. Eso es porque están juntándose polos opuestos. ¿Qué pasa si juntamos dos polos iguales? Que se repelen. Vamos a probar ahora con estos materiales que tenemos sobre la mesa. Voy a intentar atraer esta pieza de plástico. ¡Oh, oh! oh. Parece que el plástico no es magnético. Vamos a probar ahora con esta de aquí. ¡Tachán! Se quedó pegada. Eso quiere decir que es material magnético. Si seguimos probando por aquí, encontramos que... ¡Uy! ¡Anda! ¿Habéis visto? Se repele porque los polos son iguales. Porque esto de aquí es un imán. Sin embargo, si le doy la vuelta, los polos son diferentes y entonces es cuando se atraen. Con lo cual, cumple la propiedad del magnetismo. Si acercamos este clip, tachán, se atrae. Eso es porque el material es magnético. Vamos a ver qué pasa con estas monedas. ¡Oh! Pero bueno, si no se atraen. Siempre pensé que las monedas serían magnéticas. Oh, oh, estas monedas están hechas de un material que no es magnético. So, I'm glad you enjoyed that experiment. But before I go, remember this, magnet is a tool. And we all learned today that opposite poles attract and like poles repel. 
Until next time, see you. Bye-bye.